Hello, curious citizen science minds. Let's find out what's in the Wonder Bucket today. Hi, I'm Amory. I wonder if animals need salt to survive and why. That's a great question, Emery. Thank you for asking that. And yes, animals do need salt to survive. Uh, we need it too. Uh, we need it for ourselves. So things like our bones need salt and our muscles need salt for us to move and even our nerves so the things that send messages from our brain to the rest of our body to be able to do things like move and digest food and all that very very important stuff is through salt and the parts of it so uh the important thing is obviously where do we get that salt and we get it of course from the food that we eat as do all the other animals right um and our food of course comes with salt in it we can add some salt to it uh, it's a very important part of our diet and our digestive system takes out those parts and makes sure that they're going to the right places that need them. What about other animals? What do they, well, some animals that live in the ocean, uh, th where do you think they get their salt? I mean, it's uh, going to be literally in the salt water all around them. So unfortunately for those of us here in Calgary, not so much of an option. So other animals have to find different ways of doing things. So things like meat eaters, carnivores, they're going to get the salt in their diet from the meat that they eat, so from the other animals that they hunt. So animals around here like coyotes and badgers and bears, even though bears eat way more plants than they do meat, um, they get the salt that they need from the meat that they eat. But obviously there's a lot of animals that aren't meat eaters, so what are they going to do? Well, some animals, like especially like farm animals, uh, farmers will actually put out salt licks for them. So you may have heard of things like you know, cows and horses and goats and sheep and so forth. They'll have like a little block in their um, enclosure and uh, they'll use that and they'll go and lick it. And that's uh, how they get their salt for their diet. But wild animals, a little bit different, right? So uh, they'll find whatever resources are available for them. So things like our bighorn sheaves that you would find in like the mountains, um, those guys will even do things like go to rocks that are really salty and even go on the road when there's uh, salt that has been sprayed on it to make sure that, you know, ice melts and all that kind of stuff. So it's not uncommon to find things like bighorn sheep and elk and all those kind of things on the road licking up salt uh, because it's a very easy place for them to access it. Uh, now, one of the really interesting things are in a place like rainforests, which is obviously a very different place than around Calgary again. Uh, what are those animals going to do? You've got lots of plants around you, uh, but there's not that much salt. So what many animals will do is they'll congregate on certain soils that have lots of minerals in them. And those minerals will be the parts that make up salt and maybe some other minerals that they need too in their diet. And they'll actually eat that soil or lick that soil uh, in order to get those nutrients. Um, and they're actually great resources and places if you are out watching wildlife to try and find them. So Thank you so much for submitting that question. It's a great one. And uh, we at Spark are really excited to keep answering the wonder questions that you all have. So please uh, continue to wonder and be thoughtful and engage with the outside world. And um, we're looking forward to answering those questions. So if you would like to submit one, please check out our social media. And uh, we look forward to answering those questions soon.